God must reveal who he is to us, and he has, to a particular people in the course of history. The revelation of himself was recorded, passed on first in oral tradition, and then written down under God's guidance and inspiration. We have now this tradition from which we can draw. As God must reveal to us who he is, so too he must reveal to us how it is we are to relate to him, how we are to worship him. From the very origin of man, God has desired to be in relationship with us. Not only is God the origin of our natural life as human beings, he wished to extend to us his own divine life. Such a divine life is necessary to be in relationship with God. In himself, God is an infinite dynamic of total self-giving love. The worship he seeks is that of our total self-giving love back to him. We are to live totally oriented to God so that our lives, empowered by the presence of his divine life, gives glory to who he is. God gave his divine life in such a way not to overwhelm our ability to freely choose to give ourselves, but to enable us to act out of the greatest freedom, to be able to give our whole selves out of love. True worship of God, then, requires that we live according to the way God created us to be, to freely choose to act out of a total self-gift to others and to God. Coming to understand how we are to correctly worship God will be a major theme about these audiences. This is utterly essential to our lives. If we are not relating correctly to the most fundamental reality that exists, we are living in a fantasy world, living a lie. Without knowing the truth, we cannot have the freedom to choose to live the truth.